So if you recall from our previous videos, we asked these two questions. Is there a significant drop in sales due to competitor entry? And we said there was. And we also wanted to know, is there a change in price elasticity due to competitor entry? And we had two approaches for this. One was to run two different regressions before and after entry. And when we did this, we found that, in fact, it looks like there's a difference in the response to price as a function of entry. In other words, it looks like prior to entry, we had a very large influence of price on sales, negative 7,200. And after entry, we had a smaller influence of price on sales, or negative 1,800. But what we were unable to do is test if these two different values, negative 7,200 and negative 1,800, were actually statistically different from one another. And for that, we need our second approach, interaction. So if we come to our data, the very first thing that we need to do is actually unsplit our data file. Because if you remember last time, we split the data file in order to run two separate regression analysis. If we don't unsplit the file, we'll never be able to run the analysis that we need. So to do that, we just go to data, split file, and instead of organizing the groups by entry, we just want to analyze all cases, do not create any groups. So this is just unsplitting the data. The next thing we want to do is actually create the interaction term. And we do that by going to transform, compute variable, and we're going to name this variable something like price times entry. And the numeric expression is just going to be price star, which is just what we say for multiplication, times entry. And this gives us a new column over here. So now we actually want to run the regression. So we go to analyze, regression, linear. And instead of just price, we want to include price, entry, and the interaction, price times entry. And just as a reminder, whenever we have an interaction term, we must include the underlying variables as well. So if we run this, we see the following output. First, we see that there's an effect of price, it's significant, such that the higher the price in general, the fewer sales we have. Second, we see an effect of entry, it's significant as well, such that after entry, remember this is a zero or a one, after entry, sales go down by 35,000 units. And we also see that there's this interaction term, which means that the influence of price on sales is different prior to and following competitor entry. The best way to really think about this is to graph it, and so that I'll do that for you here. So what we see here is price on the x-axis, our predicted sales on the y-axis, the blue line represents the relationship between price and sales prior to competitor entry, and the green line represents the relationship between price and sales following competitor entry. And so we see as, first of all, just a general negative relationship, such that as price goes up, sales go down. But most importantly, we see a difference in the slopes. Prior to competitor entry, price sensitivity was very, very high. As price went down, sales went down very, very quickly. That wasn't the case after competitor entry. In other words, as price went down after competitor entry, the response on sales was much less severe. This slope is less extreme. This is the nature of our interaction. It tells us that the price response or the price elasticity changed as a function of competition. And that is potentially a very useful bit of information if I'm about to be pricing my product. Because if I price it the way that people used to respond, I'm going to be misspecifying the demand curve. 